Good morning, book lovers of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber, I get a new subscriber. And I also read a page from a book of my choice, I suppose. So in today's video, I am going to be reading, to be reviewing um, this book by Frederick Bachman called A Man Called Ov. Um, I have mentioned this book several times on my channel and um, I just finished it this morning and it certainly has one of the most bittersweet endings which I have ever read. So this has 304 pages and I rated it 4 stars and um, after finishing it, I suppose the final couple of chapters, um, certainly um, made Ove become one of my favorite characters in fiction of all time, you know. Um, after having finished this, um, I completely solidified my opinion of Ove, and um, I certainly love the way he is um, characterized by Buckman, and um, the translation from Swedish is also fantastic. So um, I've uh, always had this impression that Ove is uh, rather an old man, um, considering that he's always uh, talking about wanting to kill himself and actually trying to do so, but it turns out that he is only 59 years old and he turns about 63 or 64 when he, spoiler alert, ultimately passes away. So I have read a few books with elderly people in them like The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman or for instance um, The Hundred Year Old Man Who Jumped or Who Climbed Out of the Window and Disappeared by Jonas Johnson who is also a Swedish author. Um, but it turns out that Ove himself isn't isn't that old, you know. He does have a few elderly friends. I mean, 60, to be fair, is um, a rank higher than middle-aged, but perhaps not old, per se, I suppose. Um, the story revolves around Ove, of course, as one would expect, considering the title. And um, he goes from being a guy who has lost his purpose in life after the passing of his wife, uh, Sonia, which is certainly extremely sad and... Um, uh, the emotions that evokes become stronger the more the story goes by and um, he later becomes a man who finds his purpose within the community he lives in when he is accepted and loved by his neighbors and uh, the new people who join the community and he is also um, open to different genders or sexualities as it turns out he is um, more of a conservative sort of guy but Nevertheless, he doesn't disrespect anyone. He just um, tries to treat everybody equally, I suppose, unless they break any rules, because he's quite a stickler for rules, which one would expect, you know, um, considering the injustices he he has endured during his life. Um, it is fantastic how all along his heart condition has to do with him having a very large heart, and um, this metaphor was, of course, not wasted on me, and... Um, he is a kind person overall, even though he does um, help people with the, how, how would one put it, with the impression, I suppose, that they are not able to do things themselves, and he hates that other people are so dependent and reliable on others for help, and that they never educate themselves to solve their own problems. And he does use his abilities for good, and um, as it turns out, many people loved both him in the community, as well as his wife, Sonia, as after his um, passing away, um, 300 people or so showed up for his funeral. Um, I love also how the story moves between present to past so seamlessly, so smoothly even, to show how much Sonia and Parvane uh, seem to have in common. Um, Ove or Otto in the movie, they found their purpose when they had a woman who cared for them in their own life and who reminded them of his wife, you know, they just wanted to feel loved, to feel cared for, for all they did. And Ove has, as I mentioned, faced a lot of injustice during his life and finally manages to get a win against the white coats or the people in authority when they try to take his uh, best friend away from his wife. And um, he gets a win, he also helps a man... Um, of a train track from being run over um, while he was attempting to do the same thing himself, which is very ironic. And um, I also love the, the intense amount of irony within this book. It's what makes it slightly comedic, even though there is this overwhelming and overshadowing sense of gloom and guilt uh, somehow. I suppose that one could describe Ove as a rather stoic person. 
However, I would not say he's a bitter man, as many people tend to mention that he is. Um, he is just fond of principles and rules, which, to be honest, I find to be rather relatable. I mean, why wouldn't he be, you know? Um, there needs to be some shred of sanity within the community to keep things running smoothly. And I must admit that I enjoyed the movie, the one with Tom Hanks, um, much more than the book itself. And um, it actually made me cry, you know, the book only made my eyes water during the final couple of pages or the, the epilogue. Um, and I am quite a fan of Tom Hanks, so perhaps that was the reason. And since I already knew what happened in the movie, um, the ending didn't shock me quite as much. I am also very pleased with how closely they followed the chapters in the movie um, and um, how accurate it is, although there are some scenes which had to be cut out, unfortunately. Um, although, arguably, the scenes in the movie are better than some of the chapters, because there are some pointless ones in here, which um, makes the book drag, I suppose. And that could, of course, be said of all books nowadays. Um, I don't think that authors are as um, um, economic as they used to be with words. Um, yeah, all I know is that he managed to accomplish what he'd been trying to do prior to Parvana's much necessary welcome into his life by the end of the story. And, um, since it's more of an open ending, once again, this is another spoiler. I would like to think that Ove did not kill himself since he had many people he cared for at the time and others who reciprocated this feeling. Um, I would rather think that his heart condition finally got to him and he passed away peacefully. Um, I also feel quite badly for the cat who now has no more company where Ove is concerned. However, I'm sure that she will find um, a lot of company with the friends Ove made during his life. So um, I certainly would recommend this book. So if you're looking for something to read, which will perhaps get you out of reading slump, this book will help you do that. And um, anyway, that's all from me for today regarding this book. As usual, if you enjoyed my thoughts and ramblings, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things you do which would usually support my channel. And um, let me know whether you agree with my thoughts and what books you recommend um, that I should read. As usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully very, very soon. Bye, guys.